What's up? What's up, everyone? What's up, everyone? Welcome back. I'm Ryan. I'm Gabby. And we are the, the Griffin. Okay, yeah, we're still gonna work on that. Still gonna work on that. I forgot my earring. Look. Did you want to go get it and then just start this over? No. Okay. All right. We'll edit that out. Uh, anyways, all right. So uh, on this episode of our family escapades, um, we're going to discuss. Oh, we're gonna discuss um, about what he think about Brazil when he went there for the first time. Right. Like the last time. The like last. The, the first time. Thing. First time. Right. Um, so yeah, so it's it's gonna be like a, a question and answer type thing. You know, I asked her about different things she thought about um, when she came here to America. So I guess now it's about what he thinks about Brazil. My turn. Yes. So let's that uh, with that. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Um, I don't know what that was. Uh, it's the interest, the, the questions. Okay. Um, okay. First question. What's the big difference of here in Brazil when you just First stop you step in there. The biggest difference? Yeah. Um, I think I know what you're going to say, but yeah. You don't know what I'm going to say. The biggest difference is the language. Oh, that's yeah, what I, I know, I know. Of course, because we have different languages. You just said when I came over there, it was that you know, everyone just randomly stopped speaking English. Like, oh, wait a minute, what is it now? Um, now, the biggest difference I would have to say is... Um, what is the biggest difference? Like, there's a there's a lot of differences, but I don't know how to zero in on what's like the biggest difference. Like, I can say like, for me, it definitely just wasn't what I expected because what? of what? like. Tell me about it. <laughs> Tell me about because it. in American culture, the way that we perceive Brazil is different from how actually Brazil is. Certain things about it, you know. Um, right. I'm gonna just say the way that the people look is was a big difference. Is the way I can't. That's not. That's something else. That's something different. That's like my my impression. I gotta say a difference. What's the biggest difference? The culture is different. We'll go with that one. The culture is the biggest difference. Um, and what I mean by that is the way that they see life for every day versus the way like Americans see life for every day. You know, here in America, well, I can only speak for my. Um, perspective, my point of view, it's more about, we think more about the future. You know, we growing up, you hear what's your one year, your five year, your 10 year plan, you know, that kind of stuff like that. So it's always about trying to get ahead or do more, you know, while over there, it's just like, turn down for what now? Yeah, I feel like oh, we yeah. live more as, you know, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So we live like every day is your last day. So you want to be close to your family, you want to, you know, everything. Because you actually don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You can't like plan for 10 years if you don't know if tomorrow you'll be here. So this is my point of view. You want to join? <laughs> Welcome. This is... Come here. Come here. Go. Oh. This is Bruce. For those who don't know, I guess he wanted to be a part of the video. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Hi! Okay. He like, he don't right. feel like he, he don't. He don't feel like um, So like, thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, okay. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> so now I'm interested about your point of view. Like, we were talking about how Brazil is not what you thought. Uh, Can you explain that to me? What how Brazil isn't what I thought it was? Mm -hmm. What you <laughs> thought Brazil was, and when you got there, what you learned about Brazil? So, in American culture, generally, when well, you only you, I don't know, not just me, just American culture, generally, when you hear about Brazil, you it's it's a couple of different things when you think about it. One, they're known for um, the beautiful people. Right, like there's everyone is just supposed to be like, like their 
ugly people are like our sixes, if you just want to say that, in my opinion, and people that I've talked to in my own circle. You know, I'm not going to speak for the all of society. But um, that's that. And or this is where like, you know, you think about Fast and Furious, about how they went down there and now they got like guns and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? That's really funny. And stuff like that. So like, but honestly, our idea, my idea of Brazil was basically just that generally overall, everyone was like good looking. Like their ugliest people, like I said, would be like R6. Um, that's just not true. You know, that's not, or and second of that, just the way that the women are just like shaped. You like, you see what I mean? Like you just had this concept or this idea of what Hollywood portrays um, Brazilian women are, you know, and it's it's nothing like that at all. I am. It's it's really nothing like that at all. And um it was just real eye opening. I did. I did. <laughs> it was it was real eye opening um because for the first time I really see well saw how just Hollywood and the media just portrays one thing and then you know you have a whole society really believing that this country is just way, and then they're just really, it's really not, it's nothing like that. Don't get me wrong, there are a bunch of beautiful people down there, but there are just other people that are challenged in a certain way in the looks department. You see what I mean? But that's everywhere. You see, it's, it's everywhere. It's not, you know, um, the same thing, my idea of what, even the skin complexion about them, you know what I mean? Like, me personally, I didn't really think about it, about how they have. You know how Africans came down and were were slaves and stuff like that in Brazil either because that's just not really something that's mentioned here in our education system. Like it happened, you know what I mean? Um, and we're gonna do another whole video on that, you know what I mean? But I think that was the biggest thing, just about um, my perception of what I thought Brazil was versus the actual reality of how the people are, you know. Um, and then with that being said, the people are just. They're extremely nice, extremely like overly nice, like to the point that I was like, no one should be this nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you go and they just were so excited. The fact, oh, they just want to show you their culture, show you, oh, this. What do you think about this? Try this, try this, try that. And it was just, it was overwhelming at first because I wasn't, I just wasn't expecting it. You know, me coming from Northern Virginia, DC area, being in Philly and New York and all that stuff like that. You know, California is slightly different, but over there. We're just not as friendly, like overly friendly, like that. So it was, it was definitely different. What is the best thing that you ever did in your life in Brazil besides smooth food? Because uh, I was about to say uh, this one right <laughs> here, right here. What is the what is what's your favorite thing? About My Brazil? favorite thing about Brazil. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go say it again. The 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 culture slash like music like i'm a i'm a very hype person like i'm a dancer i love to dance you know what i mean so to go into a culture where literally like you just walk in the street and people just <laughs> doing this i'm like oh like we really we don't do that what is this what is, what is this I, they can't see my feet but that was me doing zamba like when they go when they who, do this who is zamba samba samba uh -huh. Samba. Samba. Right. Who is Zumba? Zumba. Samba. Alright, so, but they can't see the body, but this is, the feet are, are doing this. No, yours actually is not. You just listen, listen, listen. Right. listen. Oh, okay, oh, okay. alright. Oh, so, anyway, oh, so, anyway, so, like, um, but yeah, so, it was just so fun, and then just to go, and every, literally, everyone is just dancing, everyone is friendly, everyone is just, they're just having a good time. Like I said, enjoying life. I think my favorite thing about the Brazilian culture is two things. One, Okay. Hey, all right, all right. don't do that right. on my couch. Um, one, that they enjoy life to the fullest. You know what I mean? They're going to get the most out of their day. And second, family. I feel like that's a, like just a Latin culture thing in general, but I, I do feel there's a special place in Brazilian society because, um, like, my family is important to me. It really is. And, you know, I grew up with family being important, but not to the extent that... <laughs> They have it. literally his family over everything. everything, and they and they don't just say that, but they actually live by that, yeah. you know. And that's something that's like special. Just watching her interaction with her mom and her dad and her sibling, 
um, and everything of that nature. Um, so there's that, and then Acai. Oh. I fell in love with Acai. We'll show a picture of what Acai is uh, later, but it's like a it's like a berry that's like a fro. They do like a frozen berry. And they put a bunch of toppings on it. The equivalent for us is like if you were to go to like a frozen yogurt thing. It's not it's not yogurt, but how they do that and they put all the toppings and stuff on it like that. Fell in love with it. Absolutely, absolutely love it. It's amazing. It's really amazing. Start drooling. Man. This that's 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 is acai. Acai. you can see it right, but yes, it's this banging. Gotta get some. You haven't had some, get, get some. some. That's all it is. Yes. Alright, any other questions? What you thought about my family? <laughs> what did I think about your family? Her dad is like the coolest person ever. Ever. Like I, I think I think what I loved about her dad the most is for the fact that me and him were able to communicate without actually talking. We were able to communicate without actually talking. Because I'm a beast. And her father's a beast. You know, her mom's a beast too. Her mom be throwing down in the kitchen. Like I walked in one time and her mom was doing this and throwing rice and stuff like that. And then next thing you know, a meal just like appeared. It was absolutely amazing. My You're the real winner. You're the real one. Her brother's alright. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm telling you. No, her brother's, her brother's cool too. Her whole family's like mad. Like, they're really fun. Just being around them as a family, they're really fun. We just laughed. Literally, like, all we did was laugh the entire time I was down there. And stuff. That's true. That was fun. That's, that's true. That's true. So, you got any other questions? No. No? No. no. Alright, so with that being said, alright, we're gonna wind this video uh, down or whatever. So thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, definitely go ahead and give this a thumbs up. You're missing a thumb. Oh my god, man. Mm. And, <laughs> um, and go ahead, just hit the notification, go ahead, subscribe. We're definitely putting out more material. Um, just show us love. Definitely, definitely. Are you, you still drooling about our site? No, I'm trying to do this. Okay, we'll have another time. All right, so with that being said, God, we really appreciate you um, guys a lot. And yeah, we'll see you next time. See you next time.